I don't want bling on it, really. I want right. straps okay. and possibly quite plain. Right. With absolutely no details. Oh, except one. I'm going to need a sort of a slit put in it, but right. what's stitched so you can't tell it because she's going to be on a really thin piece of wire, like a thousand foot up in the air. Wow. I'm assuming if you're on a wire, it's some sort of harness then. Yeah. Not heard that <laughs> one before. So shall I uh, leave you to it and have a yeah, look? Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very yeah, much. Right, you're welcome. Oh, that's a... Yeah, it is. That's a train, look. It's just hanging up onto the top of there. Oh, we could chop that off, couldn't we? You can't go around chopping them. Of course you can. Can you chop the trails off? Because they've all got giant trails on. Someone, might, someone will just have to go behind her and carry it, mate, if not. Oh, on the bridge? Yeah. Look, this is a lot of dress we need. Get something like that. I like it because it's a bit more plain, obviously. It ain't got the sparkly stuff around the top, which I like. It's got a seam in it, which would be quite practical as well. While Steve considers taking a plain dress and cutting it up, Leona's found a dress. Wow. And she's made up. I think it's really beautiful. I think it's really different. I don't think I've ever seen someone in a wedding dress like this before. Absolutely stunning. Like. When I turn round and see the train, I feel like a million dollars is the best way to put it. You look a million dollars, do. Baby. You look absolutely stunning. I think if he gets me something similar to this, then I'm going to be absolutely over the moon. This is the one now, definitely. Oh, I love it. Hello. Can't take it home, though. I know, I don't. Then I will start crying. I'm going to be dreaming of this dress. And it might be staying in her dreams because Steve's sticking to his guns with something very plain. It's really nice. I don't actually really like that one. Do you? Yeah. Don't have my opinion. Not really, mate. I don't like it. I just think it's a bit yeah. boring. Yeah, but you're not marrying her, mate. And you don't know what she likes. I know, I'm just giving my opinion. Yeah, it's not very good. <laughs> you're just plain Jane, aren't you? I just think the owner would look good in it. Yeah, it's nice. It flows. It's figure hugging. And I like that one. But before he can seal the deal, he has a couple of finishing touches. A belt, because he needs to conceal a harness. You can put that on, mate, and nobody will know. Yeah, you never. Except for us. And a cowboy hat. Yeehaw! So, yeah, that will be white, not black, by the way. There we go. So Steve's happy the dress will match his Western cliffhanger wedding. But will he be quick on the draw with the price? How much would it be for this one? So, with the dress and... The, the belt, belt and the alterations, what okay. is the best price we can do? So, the best price would be all in for 900. I'll take that. OK. I will definitely take that, yeah. So Steve spends £900 on a dress fit for his Wild West bride, including alterations to lasso her to the rope bridge. Are you happy with that? I'm well happy with that. <laughs>